Materials for days. Every color you can think of. Interstate Plastics, Sacramento, California. My favorite place. All right, this is gonna be a short and sweet video. I just wanted to do something cool for my rep over at Interstate Plastics. This guy always takes care of me. My stuff, when I need it, custom stuff, stuff that's hard to find, he gets it for me. And uh, well, one day he mentioned to me that he wanted to get some 12s and uh, he wanted to get some new 12s for his ride. He wasn't sure what to get. He doesn't know that much about it, but he got a 2000 watt amp and he needs a pair of 12s. So. I went ahead and used my magical powers and got him a pair of 12s. I don't think he thought he was going to get these good of 12s, and I didn't either, but he deserves it, man. He's here now. We just got done taking a tour of the shop, and um, I ready to show him his new woofers that I got for him. They're sitting over there. They're on the dolly. Came in yesterday. Uh, I think he's going to be pretty excited. I'm going to make him crack them open, and then he's got to get to work. <laughs> All right, this is my rep, Jared. He gets me all the plastic stuff that I need on time. He gets it all delivered. Everything I need, all the cool stuff, all the cool colors that makes all this magic happen. Let's show a little bit of love back. I got you something. You asked about some 12s. You said you need some 12s. And you're asking me which 12s you should get. Well, I look and saw what kind of hands you have. I know what kind of 12s you need. So this is what I got for you, man. Yeah. So, hey, oh no, we gotta get the steak knife. Oh yeah, we gotta get the steak knife. All right, come on, yeah, man, let's go get the steak knife. Come on, come with me. Steak knife. Oh, look at this. Oh yeah. There you go, that's yours. Here we go. Well, it's not yours, it's mine, you can't have it. But you, can, you, you can use it. It's over here, man. We're so busy over here cutting all that plastic stuff I got from you. Uh, our tables are full. Can't even do a proper unboxing on the table because it's full of products. So, well, I guess we don't need to do both these. We go, oh, look, this guy's already got. <laughs> He's hurt. Get the man a steak knife, man. He's on it. Didn't even give me a chance to do my intro, man. Well, you're good. Oh, the legendary steak knife, man. This man, DC Audio. Tell you what, that's money right there. Man, thanks, sir. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. Take him out, man. Take it out. Take it out. So you got? You said you got a 2,000 watt amp. That's what I read on there. I think that sound stream. 2,000 watts at one ohm. So these are, uh, I think they're dual fours. Yeah, but you're gonna run them in. Uh, Run each one in parallel okay. to bring this one down to two ohms, this one down to two ohms, and then parallel them together to bring it down to one, and then that amp is going to be real happy and so with the whoopers. So it should be a perfect match. You can take that out of the plastic. You can put it back in before you go, Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, forget. I think I believe they're a thousand watts RMS a piece, yeah. so you should be perfect. You should be good to go on that. So what kind of box do you have for these things? I have a ported box. Oh, so I know he's got to get to work. So we'll head this way. Uh, let's go this way.
Okay, I'll tell you what. Probably next week. Or, that's when you plan on putting it in? Yeah. Or no, within the next couple of days, for sure. Um, yeah. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Come see me in a couple of days. Oh. Take your woofers home. For real? Take your woofers home. Show them to everybody. You know I am. We can't. Hey. <laughs> I'm not dogging you out, man. Right? It's only right. No, it's cool. I saw homemade. I, I might have to get a hold of my boy Bobby Gately. I ain't got time to build you a box, but I know someone that does. I'll pay for it. No, you ain't. Dude. Hey, check it out. Take those things home. Enjoy them. Show them off. DC oh, yeah. Audio. Tell everybody about DC Audio. Oh, I am, for sure. And, uh, for sure. We'll take care of this, all right? Oh, man. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I know you, you got to get to work, oh, but. Oh, yeah. Thanks, yeah. sir. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I'll see you guys later. Right, yep, yep. Later, man. Hey, to be continued. <laughs> What kind of box you got? Uh, ported. Uh, it's not even ported. <laughs> no, it's all good. Hey, we're gonna make this thing right. Watch this. back but what he doesn't know is that I got him a little surprise. I hooked him up with a Gately audio box, a ported box for his car. So when I saw the box that he had in there I'm like well I think we can do a little bit better than that. I think we're gonna try to do something different here. We're gonna try to make this a learning experience. I'm gonna help him hook his speakers up into that box. I'm gonna take a look at his system, see what all he has, see what it looks like, what what he all needs to do. I'm gonna give him a little bit of homework and send him on his way. I'll even give him some product to take with him. And then when he comes back, we'll evaluate what he did. And of course, I'll help him fix whatever he did if it needs to be fixed. This is gonna be a do-it-yourself that I'm gonna hook you up type of video. Let's head over there, let's get Jared, let's see what he's got, let's show him his new box. Send him on his way. Yeah. What up, what up? Hope you don't mind being on YouTube, man. Are you good with that, you good with that? All right, man. Hey, all right, I called you over here because you got your 12s. Yep. DC audio for the win, hell yeah. Um, you know, I saw, your, I saw your box and, you know, it, need, it needed a little bit of tender loving care. So I did not let you leave with it. Sorry about that. So I called you over here because I wanted to show you a little surprise. I got a little something for you. And um, we're gonna bring those woofers in. Do you have the woofers with you right now? Yeah, I got them in Okay, cool. So we're gonna bring those things in. I'm gonna show you what your surprise is and uh, I'm gonna send you on your way with it. You'll see, you'll see what's going on, but uh, I also wanna check out your ride. I wanna see what we're working with. I wanna see what you're actually hooking these up. Let's, uh, let's grab your 12s real quick and let's go inside and then we'll come back out and check out what your system's got going on. I'll give you some tips. Be, be nice to me. I'll be nice. Be nice to me. I'll give you some tips. I'll give you some equipment to take with you, some stuff, some parts. If you even need it, I don't even know because I don't know what you have in here. All I know is that you asked me if I could find you some good 12s and yep. now you got some 12s. Bless me. But I want to make sure that these are going to be used properly. I can't say friends don't let friends nope. not yeah. use their shit properly. So the reason Jared got these 12s is because, well, he didn't ask for them. He just asked if I could find him some good ones, give him some advice. But the way that those guys over at Interstate Classics always take care of me, they basically help me launch what I'm doing right now as far as the CNC machines and the fabrication stuff. You need reliability in your life when you're talking about CNC machines and having a flat stock. So that's why he got hooked up with a pair of 12s. And when I seen his box, well, I couldn't let those 12s go in that box. So got a little something special over here for him. Here we go, ready? Let's do this. We got Brandon's Yoda looking primo. Look at that. All right, man. Here's the main reason I brought you over here. I know I didn't let you leave with your own damn box after I gave you them whoopers. But there's a reason behind that. I told you I was gonna maybe fix this up for you, but I mean, there's really no coming back from this. This thing just needs to be a relic. Days gone by, gone with the dodo bird. That thing needs to be yep. destroyed. Yep. I got a little something better for you. Hey, let's take a little walk over here. I called up my buddy, Bobby Gailey. I said, I need a box for the bro Jared and um, Guess what? That bad boy is yours, along with those 12s. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, so one inch 
Baltic birch, Russian Baltic birch, I believe. Got copper terminals on the ends. Super nice curved cut port, sub up, port back. Yeah. Thank you. Thank no worries, man. No worries. It's all yours, dude. It's sick as fuck. So what I want you to do though is uh, we're gonna take this down. We're gonna bring your woofers in here. I'm gonna help you wire this up, and then I'm gonna send you out of here with it. You're gonna come back, and I'm gonna evaluate it again. We're gonna see. I'm gonna send you out of here with some instructions, what to do, and it's gonna like a do it yourself. But I'm supplying the stuff for you. And goddamn, that thing is so noisy over there. I apologize to everybody out there in YouTube land, but we are working. You know, I laser engraved those right there. Uh, so once again, sorry about all the noise. It's loud in here. I got compressors, dust collectors, CNC's and lasers going on a Saturday. What am I supposed to do? I got work to do. So it's a little quieter out here. Now we're going to be able to check out his system and a little bit of peace and quiet. Although now I hear the dust collector coming out of that door. It's all good. It's all good. Never ends. Never ends. All right, so what are we working with here? You said you got a Soundstream 4,000 watt amp? Yeah, so I got the Soundstream amp, um, hooked up to zero gauge wire. Hooked up to some zero gauge? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's the Tarantula Soundstream. Soundstream Tarantula, all sliding around the trunk a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got some little had wire adapters. I've had it for about a year, probably. Okay. And uh, so that black and white wire, is that your speaker wire? Yeah, that goes to the speakers. Okay. So I'm trying to remember, I'll have to look it up, I'm trying to remember what the impedance was that you need at the end. I think it's 1 ohm. So we're going to wire those speakers up to 1 ohm, I believe. Okay, so you got some zero gauge here. Yeah. Uh, who, who hooked these wires up, just out of curiosity? Me. You? Okay. Yep. Alright, so like I said, just to let you know, we're not going to make fun of you today. <laughs> Alright? We're. This is a learning experience. Yep. No, I mean, no joke. Yep. No joke. I mean, it's, uh, you know. Um, first time it needs help it needs help so where is this wire exactly going take me for a little tour and show me exactly the direction show me the red wire first where it goes Okay, it goes over to here. Yeah. So is it is it right here? Up. Yeah, it's right here. And then this one right here goes to your battery. Yeah, it goes to my battery. Okay. And the uh, black wire, so of course, we're grounded back there. And uh, where is this wire? Is it ran underneath the car? Yeah, no, it's all the way down the side of the car. Okay, so it goes through the firewall and then down the side of the car. Yeah, down the. Uh, okay. Side of the car. We're gonna check this out. Uh, I don't know if this is CCA wire. I don't. What no. do, you, do you know? What kind of wire it is? It's. It's. I'll, I'll look at it in the back. There's yeah. a big chunk of it. Yeah. Okay, what about the black wire, the ground wire? Where is that That's wire going? It's grounded in the trunk. It's grounded in the trunk? It's grounded under here. Okay, can you pull that carpet back and show me? I gotta see it. I got it, dude. You go hide it now, man. We're in We're in this to win it. Oh, it's on the other side. <laughs> pull it down, man. You have we'll to fix get it. it to the other side. Okay. Now, we're gonna fix you up, man, so don't worry about it, but I still gotta see this, because this is typical, man. This is what, this is what audio installers see all the time, and once you know, you're gonna be enlightened. And that's what I'm here for. We're gonna enlighten you. So you can see it from this side. Okay. Oh, you gotta see if. Oh, does it go over? Does it bend the block over there? Okay. Let's check it out. Got my golf uh, clubs in Yes, sir. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, at least it's on a clean piece of metal. All right. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. It needs a little bit of love and care, but at least it's on a clean piece of metal. But I'll give you that. But we'll fix that up. Up front, what do you got for a head? You need you got a little uh, double din. Yeah, I got just a little double dance, she's doubled in. Okay, um, so RCA out, like the front, rear. Yeah, um, it has everything, um, I just don't have a backup camera on that, but. Okay, where's the remote wire? How is that amp turning on in the back? Is it hooked up to the DEX remote? Yeah. Yeah, you, you already up, have the wire yeah, ran? Yeah, it's hooked up to my beat knob down here. Right, to your beat knob? Yeah. yeah. The beat knob, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, so those look like RCA cables though. Those yeah. don't look like remotes. Where's the, re there's an actual remote wire in there too? No, those run to the uh, AC, like cable jack. Okay, so to back to the amp. What is turning the amp on though is what I need oh, to know. Oh, it's hooked up to the, uh, to the deck. Straight from these. Straight from, well those are RCAs though. Where's the little oh, blue sorry, wire? The blue one, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you actually have a remote Let's wire? Come out here, again. so that blue wire goes all the way up to the deck. Okay, so you. Blue wire. Okay, so that goes up to the yeah, deck. That blue wire. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, let's take a look at this wire. What kind of wire is this? I think that wire. That wire, though, it's, uh, may not be the best. It feels like 
it doesn't really say. It feels really light. I wish I could, uh, let me see. I've been messing with it a little bit lately. Yeah, let's uh I'm gonna unscrew this I'm gonna unscrew this with my fingers, okay? <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and unscrew that with my fingers and take that out of there. Oh yeah, everything this there's no way that this is I d I think this is CCA. I believe this is gonna be some CCA, some uh Yeah, it doesn't feel I mean I know the difference in weight mm -hmm. and that does not feel like copper. That feels like copper clad aluminum, garbage wire. Okay, let's so. bring your box out and see if it even fits in this trunk before I Is give you your, before I give you your homework. Yeah. All right, come on, let's go. Uh, look at that thing compared to this. No offense, man. No offense. <laughs> let's see that. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Careful, the Brandito's car. You've never seen Rage before. <laughs> All right, so just aim the port backwards on the right-hand side, obviously, and try to get it in there without tearing your car apart. I have to move that amp out of the way a little bit. Yeah, yeah, just like that. That is sick as hell. This box Actually, fits in here like a glove, dude. This is sick yeah. ass shit right here. Gave the audio. Looks really good. Yeah. Dude. Now we're gonna have to figure out how we're delivering the power to these though. So, all right. Um, I hate to have you drag it back out again, but if you want to carry it in, we got a cart. If you don't want to carry it, it's all right. All right. Cool. Let's hook up your speakers, and then I'm gonna we'll bring it out once and for all, and you can take it home. Just slap it on the ground with the speakers aiming up. Somewhere over there in that general area is probably good. Yeah, right over here. All right, I believe those are dual fours. So we'll wire those things down. We'll turn each dual four into a single two. And then we'll parallel them together and have one ohm as the final impedance. That'll be perfect for that app. So let's go ahead and pull these things out of there. We'll pop them in, see how they fit. Then we'll go grab some wire real quick. Shouldn't take us too long to do this. Oh yeah, they fit in there nice, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So all we have left to do is wire it up. Looks good. It's the audio right there. Now we got some sky high wire on the reel right here. So grab some, grab like, I don't know, just measure out like three feet of that. Maybe about four feet. Let's do like four feet of that. Just butcher it off. Find a spot to where it reaches the ground almost, or maybe a little shorter than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna do this. For the sake of getting this shit done, I'm gonna take over, but I'm gonna do it with you so we can get it done. Yep. So here, Brandon, are you, are you busy? Okay, well, we're gonna get the tripod out then. Thank 
Got it on there? Go ahead and yeah. tighten it down then. Use the one wrench to hold the bolt on one side and tighten it down with the other one. Yeah. Give them a nice little torque. You won't hurt that wood. All right, so technically we would normally put a woofer on each one of these or each set of these terminals here, but I'm completely out of ring terminals. I normally carry thousands of them. We are out. They should be here any day. They're just not here. So let's have that one wire with ring terminals already on it. It's plenty. We'll run it to both these woofers. You'll be good to go. I promise you. And it ain't nothing that we can't fix in just 30 minutes anyways later on. So, all right. So we got that hooked up much better. Look at that. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, just to explain it a little bit, this is a dual four, that's a dual four. We wire this dual four in parallel. And when positive and positive, negative and negative are together, that turns it into a two ohm subwoofer. So that one isn't hooked up yet, only this one is. So let's uh, touch the two probes on those outside and let's see what that reading is on that voltmeter. Should be two ohms. Right here, right here, there you go, yep. Perfect, what do we got here, two ohms? Yep, 2.1, 2 ohms, yeah. Perfect, perfect, so we're gonna do the exact same thing over there. Those voice coils are gonna be parallel together, those dual fours, so then that one is gonna end up being two ohms, just like this one is. So once we wire both of these together in parallel again, that's gonna bring the pair down to one ohm. Catch my drift? Yep. And then your amp is gonna love it. Yep. All right, so that's what we're gonna do right now. So far, so good. All right, go ahead. These coils are in parallel with each other, and you are hooking black up to black. Yep. Twist that up so it's not all oh, frayed yeah, out and yeah. stuff. There you go. Pull outwards too while you're doing it so you don't poke your fingers. Don't oh, forget okay. that. You'll find out real quick. You notice earlier I couldn't get a reading with that fan blowing on them, right? Yeah. Well, that wind is making this coil move. When that coil moves, the impedance changes. So that's why you, uh, it needs to, any kind of noise will change the readout. It's a totally silent room. It should be sitting there exactly at two ohms, yeah. no problem. Well, oh, it looks beautiful, it looks beautiful. Now take that meter and let's, you can get a reading since these are parallel together. You can check it at the same place. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just check the other one. It should read one ohm. Which one does this go on? The, uh... Uh, put it on the little horseshoe looking one. There you go. Yep. That's the uh, symbol for ohms. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? 1.1. Perfect. I mean, it's noisy in here. We got fans blowing, but I mean, anything from 0.9 to 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, it's all one ohm. So let's drop these speakers in. We're gonna screw them down, and um, they're gonna be ready to play. We'll put them on the test bench, get a quick listen to them to make sure that they work, and then we'll send you on your way. Good. You know, we could probably put it on this thing right here so we can roll this box around a little bit. All right, these are your subs. You can do what you want with them. But while we're here, I'm gonna put the screws in them. Oh, yeah. There's, uh, <laughs> no offense, but... Yeah, when you get home, feel free to blast right through the cup, right through the ground if you want. Yeah. But we're gonna, we're gonna keep it nice and stress-free for you. Yeah. I appreciate that. No problem. <laughs> to fill up. Wiring is a little bit messy. This wasn't planned. I just wanted to hook your box up and send you out of here, but I definitely want to hear it first. Oh yeah. So 
as soon as this voltage climbs from nothing up to about 14 volts Oh, we got juice. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right. Positive, that was negative. It doesn't really matter, they're all in parallel, but right now, that one, I need to tighten it down. You can finger tighten and tighten them. I'll turn it down so it's not super hot. Turn it down real quick, way. Snug it down. Should start hearing as soon as that touches. Woo! Oh, yeah, you get all excited up. I am. I am. Go, out, go grab uh, that ranch over there. You just tighten down a little bit more of that. Shout out to Base Mechanic. back on the car, unwire it, take it out to your car, and you take it home. <laughs> what do you think about that? Man, thanks. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Get back up on this car. Okay, so we know that the wires are working, right? Because yeah. they're, uh, you can actually hear bass. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let me cut this off real quick. got that in I can already see that you're gonna need some different zero gauge wire that is definitely CCA we don't want that your amp rack is sliding around oh, we're gonna need to get that on a piece of wood or something yeah, like so that what we're gonna do man is we're gonna, we're gonna set you up I'm gonna give you some wire yeah. you come back you're gonna pick it up I'm gonna either show you what to do or we'll do it together yep. we'll get all your power situated we'll get to the back yep. and once we have everything where it needs to be in the back we'll just yep. it's not I'll help you get your amp proper yep. 100% we'll get your amp proper. I'm not hooking up this wire to yep. the stuff. Yep. Yeah, so. I'm going to get you some RCAs um, and I'll have you run your, your deck RCAs all the way to the back because that's one thing I hate doing is running RCAs. So I'll get you some new yep. RCAs. You can run those to the back and then we'll get the power wire ran to the back and then I'm sure we can get that amp rack working just right for you. Yep. That amp is either going to be we'll in there it. or we're going to put something else in there for you. One way or another, this thing's going to be badass when we're done, right? Man, thank you. So cool. No worry, man. man. I'll see you in a couple days. Yep. Enjoy that box. Yeah, I'm going to go. Everybody out there in YouTube land, watch out for this quick little series. Yep. It's a little it's a little uh, education. He's going to do a lot of the work. I'm going to help him with some stuff I know that he could probably use some help on. It's yep. going to be good at the end. And I don't have to do all the work for him. He's going to learn along the way. You already learned something today, right? Yep. Oh, man. I learned, yeah. a lot. I learned a lot today just yep. off, just yep. off yep. this little bit of being cool. here. We're out of here. Right on, right on. Thank you.
so it's been a couple of days and uh got a little something showed up jerry check it out we got some one out ofc sky high this is not cca it's the good stuff i think you have cca in your car right now so you're gonna want to rip yeah. that shit out of there and replace it with this all right oh, yeah, that's the so stuff, right? let's head back out to your car here with this roll i got some ring terminals over there for you as well okay all right cool All right, so we're gonna, you're gonna need to get rid of this thing, okay? This is all garbage. I'm gonna give you a fuse holder to take with you. Might be able to use Okay, see, first of all, you ha you know how you have a zero gauge wire in the back, even though it's CCA, it's still zero gauge in size. Well, let's just say that was top of the line zero gauge. Now you got this, which looks like maybe a four gauge cable. Yeah, so that's a bottle. I mean, in a perfect situation, this is still a bottleneck right here, so that's oh, bad. Okay. So you're gonna want to cut a piece of that zero gauge. You got like plenty you on that roll, so you can put it wherever you want. But I would mount that fuse within 18 inches or so of this battery. Uh, cut you a little piece of wire. I'll give you a uh, ring terminal for this as well. I'll give you a couple things to take home with you, so you can do all that. We gotta get rid of this. This right here. This is rigged up. Yeah. So. It's gotta go and then um as far as your grounds are concerned we're gonna need to hook up a ground from here all right i'm feeling like this might be a good spot right here you'll scrape the paint i'll hand you a nut and bolt i'll set you up and you can do it yourself later but yeah it looks like a good spot right by the battery we'll run a wire from right here straight to this thing it'll be a nice easy one and then when we upgrade your grounds, your alternator, and your positives, I'll help you do that. We'll go from the ground on the battery to the alternator and the positive on the battery to the alternator, and you'll be dialed in. So we're gonna run a positive from here to the battery, which if you don't feel comfortable doing that, I want you to do, I want you to replace your stuff as good as you possibly can. Maybe just run one ground from here, and I'll find you a good spot here in a second. And then when you come back, I'll help you fix it the rest of the way. Because you really should let me fi help you fix that stuff the rest of the way. You get the basics done, and then I'll take it to the next level with you. But let's get the basics cleaned up and looking good. All right, man. Here's a couple little homework instructions. I would probably change my ground to something in here. Clean this paint off. Uh, drill you a hole. And just fasten right here. Mm -hmm. Do it the best you can. Yep. And uh, we're going to get rid of this CCA wire. It feels like CCA so does your ground so get rid of that yep. run a nice clean setup I'm, I'm gonna give you a board so you can take you can mount that amp to it and then find a way to mount that amp down so the whole amp rack doesn't slide too and I'm thinking across back here with the uh, yep yep however you want to do it it's your car man yeah. all right got some ground wire over here ready to go here you go you can have these so go ahead and uh, I would whip off about five feet of that for the back just in case this should cut easy yeah something like that that's gonna be more than enough. Cut that off of there. All right. And then uh, probably grab the cut off on this one here. Hold on a second, you're not done with that yet. Cut yourself off about a, mm, I don't know. Yeah, right about 15 inches of it. There you go, something like that. And then when we come back later to rewire the rest of it, we'll grab more of it. So that'll get you going for right now. All right, let's grab a nut and a bolt for that little hole. Something like this here. Something like that there. A little washer. We get a couple of lock washer. Actually, we're going to grab a couple of these. One for the back, one for the front. All right, so right here. We'll run that nut and bolt right through this hole. Clean the paint off. Scrape mm -hmm. the paint really good. Wherever the hole is, run that up through. Tighten it down. We'll make it into like a stud style so you don't gotta mess with it too much. Okay. Do the same thing in the trunk. All right, we're about to conclude this video. I'm about to send you home once and for all with all this stuff. Got your zero gauge in, it's all yours. Plenty of room for mistakes in case you make any. You probably won't, but in case you got a whole roll there. We got you some zero gauge ring terminals. We got you an SMD fuse. We got some zero gauge black, sky as well. We had a little lesson in ring terminal. Got you some heat shrink nuts bolts whatever you need and uh this is where i send you on your way follow my instructions do the best you can you know what i mean if, if i don't agree with something when you come back i'll help you fix it and we'll get it just right but more than likely i think you're gonna do great time for you to ride on get it done yep. get it handled get your build on thank you right on
So we're gonna see the bro Jared here real soon. Week, two weeks, whatever. We're all busy people, so who knows when it'll get done, but but check back with me. You know I'll update you. We'll see how he does, and we'll see if there's even anything I need to do. But right now, we're gone. You got a box? Let me get a little something for all this stuff. All these little knickknacks. Nice and quiet in the shop on a Saturday. Every time I leave the house, I pray that I make it back. It's easy to kill a man, but it's okay. Got a visitor. You guys remember Jared from a few videos back? I sent him home with some homework. I gave him some stuff. Well, it's now been about a week or so, and I want to see how he did. He says it's bumping. He said it's playing. So take a look, see if he followed my instructions, and uh, just overall, see how it came out. Yep, it's that time of the year again. Got the portico. What's happening, man? You got this shit playing or what? I do, I do. You do? do. Alright, alright. Well, you told me it was bumping earlier. Let's see how you did, man. Shit. Alright, so first of all, let's see some of this wire. Show you the phone first. Okay. looks much better much better nice little spot doesn't get in the way or nothing right there a nice solid HDPE SMD fuse got that zero gauge looks like you got some heat shrink over the top of the rubber boot that it came with you don't really need to do that but you got some extra protection I guess so what was that little problem you said you had you shorted a wire back there and, and popped your whole car pretty yeah. much yeah, sorted out this right so the one right here? Yeah. Okay. So, I can see right away. It's kind of throwing a shadow on myself, so if you're watching this video, sorry about that. Alright, so he was telling me that he popped this fuse right here when he accidentally shorted some wires in the back. And uh, my zero gauge should not have popped anything with the car. So, this is telling me that he's got this in the wrong spot. This right here should be directly on the battery, not after the main car fuse. So, um, I love what you did, man. Wiring looks good, but we're going to have to take that wire right there and bring it to the battery terminal side. Let the car have its own fuse that runs the whole car. You know, we're bypassing that. Okay. So, other than that, that's good. I like it. We got some zero gauge on the ground right here, directly from the battery. You did it, man. I'm stoked, man. You followed my instructions. It looks I good. Did, I did. Yeah. Um, even got the double. <laughs> you got the, you're doubled up on that, you, gotta, you know. Hey, that, yeah, you more never hurts. Uh, <laughs> looks like you scraped the paint right there, yep. and you ran that bolt up through, made yourself a little stud. Yep. I love it. Sand the uh, paint down. Yep. I kind of talked about the other grounds and the other wires before you left last time, but I didn't give you very clear instructions. So um, we'll probably send you home with some more stuff to do, including running uh, a positive wire from that alternator over to the fuse holder and a better ground so overall I'm really impressed it looks good man yeah all right well let's see your other stuff cool good job I like it got the amp hooked up those are the two wires attached oh those two wires right there yep they're really close to each other for that that sky high zero gauge is really big so yeah don't want to let those two touch so yeah, none of the wire from the front to the back should ever pop the car's main fuse. So yeah, just go on the other side of that factory fuse and you should be good to go. So obviously I saw the acrylic in here. So you haven't gotten to your amp rack yet. Yeah, it'll be this weekend. Are you going to do it this weekend? Yeah, I'll do it this weekend. Okay, so all right, you guys, you heard that. He's going he's gonna to make his amp rack. All right, so basically you know what to do. Make a little board. Try to find a way to fasten that board down without screwing into your gas tank. So make sure you don't do that. Fasten the board down and then fasten that amp down to that. Make your wires look nice. I'll give you some zip ties if you don't have any. I'm definitely going to want to hear this. Let's see the box. Box. Sit nice and pretty. 
Haley Audio, DC Audio, looking good. Now this box, you're gonna probably want to push it back a little bit. It's sliding around, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit, because I don't know how how I should. Well, if, if you, you take, take that, that board that you're using for your amp rack, mm -hmm. and you mount that down somewhere it's real sturdy, you might be able to get a bracket onto that board. You can do it clean from the bottom, like do an L bracket maybe from the bottom of it so you can't really see it. Mm -hmm. Then push the box up against it, and then fasten it from the front. Then it shouldn't slide anywhere. Gotcha. Yeah. I've been going to drive, having to drive real slow. Yeah. I'll help you before you leave. We can figure something out to make it kind of stop moving around for a minute. But uh, yeah, you want to always keep the port about at least its opening away from anything. So if it's a three inch port, you're going to want it three inches away from anything. Four inch port, four inches away from anything. Sometimes you don't have any choice and bringing it up close does load pretty well sometimes, but for the most part, you'll you want to keep the port the distance that it is wide. Just a little rule of thumb, but you're good. This should probably, does it sound good? Oh, that sounds great. Does it really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I want to hear it, man. Let's listen to it. All right, just a little update video just to see what he's got going on. I'm sure the gains ain't set right. You didn't set, how'd you set the gains? Huh? Not at all, okay, so we're gonna talk about that here in a minute. I'll probably send him out of here with a DD-1. I'll show him how to do it. We'll, we'll get it all set up and then I'll mess him up and make him go home and do it himself. But let's check this out. All right, just so we're on the same page here, you have this deck connected straight to the mids and eyes and the doors. Mm -hmm. and then you got RCAs running to the back. Yep. To that amp. Yep. Okay. And no gains were set. You did, now, how high is the gain on that amp? Is it all the way up? Is it in the well, middle? Well, actually, it's set at probably about three quarters. About three quarters? Yeah, three quarters. Okay. Okay, so do we have to shut these doors to make it sound better or what? No, no? Yeah. sounds good like this? Yeah. We're back in business. Not that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Shut that back door, probably. That back door is probably the base. There you go. Oh yeah. Okay, come on now. Is that deck turned all the way up right now? Yeah. It's all the way up. All I hear is those rear mids and eyes. I don't even hear anything up front. You have speakers up here for real? I can't hear those at all. Can you turn those back ones down? The bass sounds good, but your mids and highs need to be. Okay. Can we go to those front ones again? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what you got going on right now, man. I gotta rewire those, I believe. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to do something about that. You can have anything the hell you want with your car, but you can't just have some by nines in the back with some mids and highs, some random mids and highs. And then, I mean, the base sounds nice and deep and clean, but it's got a long ways to go. So far, so good. We're working on it, but we're gonna have to get those. We're gonna fix these mids and highs, man, for sure. I don't know what's going on with them. I can't even hear them. And when you just turn them on, they crackle. Your system is gonna be a million, trillion, kabillion times better if we get your mids and highs fixed. It so, is, yeah. Um, what do you have in there right now? Did you replace them with something? No, those are just the. Uh, they're pioneers. They're pi Are they factory or what are they? No, they're just aftermarket. Aftermarket. Where did, did you buy them? Are they, did they? Were they? Did they come with this? No, you I actually don't know? bought them probably a year ago. All right. Have they ever sounded good before? Yeah, Was there a time? To, they used to before I started messing with everything. Okay. Before, before I got the uh, 12s from them. Okay, so. We are gonna address this right now, okay? So before you go home, you're, this is being addressed because we gotta fix your mids and highs. We're gonna get this shit back in business, dude, for real, dude. Hold on. <laughs> right, I was gonna help you set your gain, but really, the mids and highs just, they're just, they're not there, man. And it's not gonna be right. So what I would do is, this is exactly what I want you to do. Ride around, don't turn up too loud. Just listen to it just to have something to listen to. Don't blare it or nothing like that. And in a couple of days, I'm going to have you come back and I'm going to have a little something here waiting for you. We are going to fix your mids and high problem. We're going to fix your amp problem. We're going to fix any little issue you got. I'm proud of you. Your wires look great. You're, you're doing the right thing. We're going to have to take this to the next level. So, I mean, I'm just going to tell you right now, man, we're going to get you some brand new six and a halfs. Man. We're going to, I got, I got some other stuff for you, man. Hey, you just, 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 you just wait, man. All right, man, friends don't let friends bump their mids and highs off their deck. So I went to Sonic Electronics, scored a sound stream, four channel for you. Oh shit. 
wasn't really that bad. They were pretty uh, inexpensive and they'll get the job done. Nice little four channel. You'll see when it shows up, it'll be here next I Thursday. That matches the 4K that you got in there. I did that on purpose. So when you make your amp rack, it'll look nice. I made a phone call. We got mids and highs coming too. So we're going to switch your mids and highs out. We're going to put a four channel on them. We're going to set the gains on your base amp. Your only homework is to run those wires like I asked you to. I'm going to get you some brand new RCAs. They'll be here Monday. I'm going to have you run brand new RCAs from the front to the back. So we'll get those doors done. We'll take it from there. Let's go get you some wire. Complete change. Yeah. You got my cutters at your house still? Oh, they're in the car. Actually. Okay, well, we got some more over here. Some 16 gauge OFC. What I would do is, just to make sure you got plenty, drag it all the way to the back of the Lexus over there. Okay, there you go. Something like all that. All the way to the door, man. Make sure you got tons. Nothing sucks worse than being short. There you go. And just come, come on over there and cut it. Be good to go. Should be plenty for you there use up whatever you need if you need more I got more where that came from I'm gonna have you run from your door speakers from this door through that boot I already pulled on the boot a little bit it looks really easy to get to same for that side really easy so your homework is to run this wire that I'm gonna hand you through that door all the way to the back to where that amp rack is same thing from that side and once you do that I'm gonna have you something that's gonna hook up to those all right there you have it got a couple more things we got to do it's gonna get better every single time you come over here, man. I guarantee you, until it's so lovely, you're just gonna be in heaven. All right, man, you got your homework. You know what to do. I'll see you in a couple days. We're out. All right, fast forward a few days. Got some stuff in the mail from Sky High. I'm hoping they're mids and highs and some RCAs. Still waiting on the amp. We ordered up that amp too, that'll be here Tuesday. So, hey, uh, you want to crack these boxes open? They ain't my shit, it's yours. All right, cool. Let's bring it over to this table and open it up. Crack them shits open, what we got here? I can't wait to see the mids and highs that you pulled out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know so good. And you are butchering that box. Oh, yeah. I'm a little excited. There we go. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh shit, we got some RCAs. Got some nice RCAs, yeah. Oh, 20 footers. Okay. So this is part of your instructions, man. You need to run those from the front to the back. And then uh, let me see those mids and highs, man. Pop those out of there. Oh shit, you're gonna love these, man. Where do you see these things? Nice box. Rage 6.1. Ooh, B2 Audios. RCAs, man. <laughs> oh, compared to what I tore out of there? Yeah, take it all the pl plastic, man. Yeah, You're good. Yeah. Take all that shit out of the plastic. It's yours, man. Go ahead. I mean, most people uh, untie it at the bottom and just yeah. take a slip it out of there, but you can go ahead and just rip it up if you want to. Look at that thing. That's nice, man. Let's see the other side. I think that's going to sound good. All right, let's see them tweeters. You're gonna be super dialed in in a minute. We gotta go see what was in there. You you already took them out? Yeah, I already oh. got them out. All right. All right, these are gonna be sick as hell. But let's go see what's out there right now. Let's see what we're replacing this stuff with. All right, so you actually were able to get those out of there, huh? Good job, got man. Out of there. That was it. That's what was in there. That was in there. Let's see these bad boys. We got the Pioneers, 25 watts RMS, 200 max. Yeah, those things, they didn't sound that great. So uh, there's there right. something wrong with them. Well, you're gonna really like the new stuff. I guarantee you them things next to the new ones. <laughs> <laughs> I 
little before and after. What a difference. I mean, sizes and everything always when it comes to this stuff, but those are definitely wimpy compared to the B2s. All right, so you got your RCAs ready to go. You got your doors started. You got the wires ran on one side, but you ran a little short. So we're gonna give you some more wire. I think you should pack this stuff up, take it with you and- um, Put in some work. Put in some work. If you need help with those tweeters, actually let's go out there and look and see where we're gonna put those tweeters. Yeah. Put it all back except for the tweeter probably. Yeah. Uh, run that shit out to the back of the legs one more time. I mean, that should be plenty. Here we are again, just bam. It's all right, I got hundreds of feet. Take it, cut it up. That should be plenty, right? No, yeah, maybe. Get me there. Okay, sure. cool, 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 cool. Set up. Put it in the front seat. Put a seat belt around it. Make sure it gets there safe. Right on. Let's check out those tweeters real quick. Let me see one of them things. <laughs> All right, so on a more complicated system, we could get into some fiberglassing and everything else and kind of go crazy, but for what we're doing, this is gonna be great. Got a nice little spot right here. It barely fits in there before it hits the ridge. Should sit in there real nice. All right, this is a learning experience and not a butchering experience. I'm sure you'll do great, but what we'll do is, when you, when you come back, bring your door panels. After your wiring is all done, bring your door panels over and I'll cut the first hole and you cut the second hole. That way we don't destroy your nice door panels while you're trying to figure out what you're doing. So uh, we'll save you a little bit of trouble and still let you do it yourself at the same time. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Okay, cool, cool. And then we'll take a look at these six and a half. They should fit in there. If they don't, we'll make an adapter ring. Yeah. So you, my brother, are on your way. Take your loot and get out of here. Show it off to your friends and we will continue on. Run that new wire that I just gave you the rest of the way on the other side, have it sitting in the back, have all your power wire in the back, have those new sky high RCAs ran to the back, just have them sitting there. And when that other amp gets here, we'll do something kind of cool. I'll help you build a little amp rack. We'll wire it in, we'll set your gains and you'll be good to go. So until next time, that's it. Later. It's an app rack coming up soon. Gonna have to build one. Oh, another one. Yeah. Go. Cool. This is about to get interesting real quick. We got an SAE 3000D on the base. We got a 50.4 on the highs. This is gonna be fun.
this is what we have on paper it all looked like it was going together hopefully in real life it actually goes together we got the little baffle to hold the fans right there got an open hole for the exhaust to get out and a couple pieces of acrylic to hold the amps up in the air so they're not laying on the back of their faces even on acrylic and the brown piece on the bottom is just acrylic that hasn't had the paper tore off yet because it's on the bottom I don't want to scratch it just yet Okay, and you guys are always wondering why I squeeze this bottle out first and then I do it. It's because you don't want a bunch of acrylic cement dripping out of the needle nose of this thing while you're trying to do it. If you do that and you let go, it'll create a suction, it'll pull it back in, and it won't be messy. You can just drop it right on in there. All right, time to let that set up. It's already pretty dry, but you want to let it sit overnight or whatever so it's super strong. Just about ready to drop amps in already. Fans are hooked up, got the lid ready to go, let's see how well these things blow. Wow, that thing is blowing a tremendous amount of air. Wow, I 
I knew those fans were pretty badass. But together in this chamber, wow. Let's put this lid on and see how it does. Alright, the lid is on. And there's just so much air coming out of this hole. Wow. This is going to be a success, I hope. I'm going to put the amps in and see if I'm still getting the same kind of pressure with things in the way. I'm hoping I will. Let's see what this little piece of styrofoam does. I mean, I can feel that all the way over here. I mean, literally it's cooling me off from over here. I don't just feel it, it's blowing air all the way over here. Pretty awesome. Let's drop these amps in here. And then eventually, before this is all done, there will be a TM1 somewhere in here controlling these fans. That's balls out pretty much right there though. Okay, my evening is about to come to an end. I gotta wait for this stuff to set up overnight so it's 100% set up. But I really wanna see what the amps look like inside of this chamber. And I wanna feel what those fans feel like with the amps in the way. So let's do that real quick. The amps are not fastened down yet. That's not going to happen for a little while. Let's see how these fans are doing. Oh wow. It feels even more powerful. That is a lot of air. I'm really excited about that. That is just no joke right there. Cool. That's going to do it for me for tonight. I'm going to jump back on this tomorrow morning, play around with it, tap some holes in the plastic, try to figure out how I'm going to get to the gains and everything else. I can kind of get my hands in there a little bit. They're all going to have to kind of be set, and then the lid's going to have to be put on when it's all done. But we'll get through it. We'll get by. No big deal. At least he won't be able to touch them very easy. I don't want nobody touching them once we set them. One last thing before I hang up. You guys are probably wondering why I am mounting these things the way I am. Let me go ahead and just uh, snap my fingers and show you. Ready? Here we go. Yep. You guessed it, upside down, gut style. Hope I can pull this off. Should be able to, so far so good.
All right, I've been working on this little thing and I got some ideas, but I'm not sure if they're gonna work or not because I have not taken any measurements of this trunk. Uh, hey, can we can we uh, pop your trunk and do a few things? I, I think I have uh, some ideas, but I don't know if they're gonna work. Yep, yep, on a Sunday. I had him come over yesterday so I could take some measurements after I had already started what I was doing, but in order for me to know how I'm gonna modify this, or if I'm just gonna scrap it and start over, I need to know if this box sounds good aimed forward. The port's gonna kinda be in the way for what I'm doing, so we need to take this box out. Maybe not even take it out, just unhook it and flip it around and aim it towards the seat and let's see how it sounds. All right, let's do that shit real quick. All right, so just flip that thing around and shove it as far forward as you can. Is that amp gonna be in the way? Probably not, because it gets, it stops before yeah, it, stops it hits that. Right, that should do. You ready to take a listen or what? I am. Let's go, man. You don't gotta torque it super hard. I just wanna hear how it sounds, if it's any good in your trunk. I think it's gonna be, man. Just looking at it, I don't think it's gonna be a problem, to be honest. It's Yeah, it's in there pretty nice. It's in just the right spot too. So let's shut the trunk and let's turn the base on. I know your mids and highs are still suffering because we ain't done them yet, <laughs> but we'll at least be able to hear what the box sounds like with the port aimed forward. So sometimes aiming them forward isn't the best way to do it unless you're able to seal the trunk off. But the woofers are aimed up anyways, so you can't even do that. So let's see, and look, Check it out, you guys. This dude, he shows up, door panels off. He ain't just slouching, waiting for me to do everything. He's he's busy. He's getting it done. Oh, the wires already ran through the door, through those boots? Yep. Oh, dude, are you for real? Yep. That is, I'm stoked, dude. I'm so stoked on that. That ain't got to do it. <laughs> All right, let's take a listen to this shit, man. It sounds like the jackpot. Listen to those same things crackle back there. Here, let's shut the door. All right, the mids and highs are still slouching, obviously. We haven't gotten to that yet, but I want to hear how this box sounds aimed forward so I can decide if uh, I'm going to continue with my little plan. And I really want to because um, that was a lot of work. <laughs> so let's go. Let's see if this thing sounds good. I hope it does. Okay, we're aiming forward, guys. We're aiming forward. Dude, your shit is slapping, dude. Damn. Pump that shit again. Windshield is fucking flexing, brother. All right, man. We figured out what we're doing. All right, man. Don't be doing that shit when I'm not around. Cause I don't want you breaking it. All right, with your gains all fucking maxed out. No, dude. I just turned them on three quarters, bro. No, 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 no. All right, you guys. Check this out. And because I want this video to sort of like end on a high note, because I was really bummed out when I busted the tape measure out yesterday. It's too hard to work on this car blind like this it's too much stress i don't know what's gonna fit i don't know where i'm gonna run my wires so do you want to see what i have in store for you what i've been working on i know you have no idea i, no I don't idea. you might have an idea i don't know if he has an idea or not okay well i know okay let's go check this shit out come on hey it's a wrap this shit's bumping pretty hard with that port aim forward we're good gately audio shit man <laughs> okay so well first of all dude if what I'm about to show you doesn't fit still, then I will make sure that we make it happen for you since I'm about to show you how cool it is. I think it's going to fit. We're just going to have to drag it out here and take a look at it. What do you think? Yep. Okay, cool. Let's go. All right, Brandito. I'm about to let the cat out of the bag. Do you want to... Uh... You don't want to do no... You don't want to do no feeling. I'm even going to ask him. He's in his socks wiping his car down. <laughs> All right, now check this out. Alexa, volume down two. Okay, now. Alexa, volume down two. All right, check it out, man. Now, this is a, this is a similar amp rack to what I want to do in your trunk. Very similar. So, you know that I went to Sonic Electronics and I bought you this uh sound stream amp right here you go this grab that amp for me if you don't mind you remember when i bought you this right yeah. okay so i got something in mind and i'm wondering how you'll 
you'll like it. Go ahead and take that out. Yeah. Number two. Yeah, look at that. That's gonna match that. It's gonna match that uh, 2,000 watt 4K you got. Really nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> but the problem is, is that I don't really want you to have that, and I don't want you to have what's in there right now. So no. it's 1,000% up to you how you want to do this right now. <laughs> but have you ever heard of Sundown Audio before? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, that amp in your trunk, we're, the one in your trunk, I eventually want to test it and see how much power it's actually putting out. But regardless. Yep. Um, I want to go another direction with you if you don't mind and you could try this and if you don't like it dude I mean it's totally up to you I'm not trying to trying to take away your dreams nope, but nope. see this shit over here it's under construction and I hope it fits but this shit is yours if you want it <laughs> no. yeah dude yep yeah, yep yeah. Um, okay now um, it's flipped upside down I'm gonna show you what the tops look like here in a second they're not fastened into place or anything like that I can't lift it and show you because they'll slide out um, when I took a measurement of your car yesterday, I was like, it ain't going to fit. But I knew, I, I, I thought about it, and I was like, okay, there might be some solutions. So the reason why I'm telling you about the surprise before it can be a surprise is it's too hard to work on your car blind and bring some stuff out, man. So I'm going to still build it for you, but I at least need to bring this thing out and make sure it's going to fit. I need to know what my game plan is going to be. So um, if you want, just so you can see what it is. Okay, if you take this amp right here and very gently slide it towards the middle, like if you look, it's gonna got RCAs that might hang up. Mm -hmm. If you slide it towards the middle and then tip it out, it'll come out of there. There you go, should come right out. There you go, take that on out of there. There you go, look at that. Ooh, sundown SAE 3000D. <laughs> and you know that bad boy's gonna do like 4,000 watts. Oh my God. Right, set that thing down, let's take a look at that four channel. What do you think about that? A little matching something, something? A little matching. Yeah. All right, so that'll be running those B2 audios in the front. So you're pretty much dialed. All I have oh to do God. is this shit's got to go in this amp rack. I have to bring this amp rack out to your car yep. and move it around the trunk and see where I want it. Yep. And we'll make sure that it's going to fit in there. I'm going to take a look. I might have to throw this bitch up on the laser and cut out some more holes so the wires can pass through. I already had these gigantic fans right here. They're like a typhoon. They're going to keep those things nice and cool in your trunk. All right. And um, they're going to be controlled by a SMD TM1. So they're not going to be roaring as soon as you turn your car on. They're only going to kick on when, they, when they're needed. And they'll only be full speed when they're needed. And they'll ramp down when everything cools. You'll see. You'll see. It's going to be bad as hell. So we're pretty raw right now. If you don't mind, let's, let's go ahead and take this thing out. I'm gonna take it out. You, I don't want you really yeah. to touch it. Not yet. Not yeah, yet. Not yet. Right. Only because I want to carry it the, prop, the proper way. Uh, all right. So here we go. Let's bring it out there. Let's see if it fits in your trunk. You watch. I'm gonna end up grabbing it in the wrong way and fucking it up. What do you know about that? Ooh. Interstate plastics. I said premium acrylic. <laughs> <laughs> do you know about that, Brandito? <laughs> it's got some handprints on it, they'll wipe off, I think. Alright, so if you could pop that there trunk. Or even something like this looks pretty good to me. We'll, we'll raise it up off the bottom. Now you. Unfortunately, if you want to drive somewhere far, you're going to have to put your uh, spare tire in a trash bag and put it on the, on the back seat, oh, like yeah. I've been doing my whole life, yep. even with kids. That's up to you, Yeah. but I can, I can make some stands so this thing stands up, and that'll also keep this box from moving because I'll attach, I'll attach this shit here. I can go straight down into, into here with it. Yep. I think that's going to be the way to go. Mm -hmm. Let me go get something to prop this up. So we got this thing raised up, and I think it's a pretty good spot. If we can pull this off that box ain't gonna move and the amp rack isn't gonna move it's right up against the back this is gonna be awesome and it's raised up enough off the ground where I can pop the wires it down on the bottom and hook them back up cool. so one last question before we decide how we're gonna do this would you rather go uh, guts out like I was showing you or do you want to see the sun down like this 
think I want to go guts out. Guts out, sick. And you know what we'll do is we'll we'll laser etch some sundown, a sundown logo on the top, so it'll still look sick as hell. Yep. You know, I got an idea, man. Maybe we can outline these these two amps with the laser and etch the middle part, leave the sundown out, like they're almost like ghosted into the top. Ooh, That'd be kind of tight. So you still get your covers and you can see it. Yep. Ooh, sick. Okay, cool. All right, let's bring these things out. Can you carry them both or no? Yeah, should be. Here, I got one. Okay. All right, so same thing on the big amp. You're gonna want see where the little bridge, see the little bridge on that piece of plastic. Yep. Um, you're gonna want to push. Yeah, there you go. That that's made to go right into there. And then you should be able to slide the RCA side in. Oh, oh it's okay. Don't worry, nothing's gonna see the bottom. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And then that should drop in, and then it slides over. Yeah, there you go. Woo! That right in the middle somewhere, and then here you go. Same thing for this bad boy right here. You can, uh, what I'll, for this one, we're going to go, yeah, just like that. All right, so a little lid on the top of this that says sundown, and maybe some graphics on the top. Oh, yeah. Some wiring popping through the bottom underneath there, and then I'll have it popping up right through here on this thing. I'll probably pre-wire it in the shop and send the wires out to a distribution block and then we'll just attach your wires to the distro block. Might even put the distro block on the bottom side. We got a lot of room underneath yeah, this thing. Do. So maybe I'll put the distros underneath that. So that'd be kind of cool. And then once you attach the wires that you already ran, this thing's gonna be hot, ready to go. And uh, your RCAs are back there already ran? Yep. You, got, you should have plenty of length to make oh, yeah. it over here, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, if not, we'll hook up a processor in the middle and then we'll extend out. Okay, so you probably don't know this, but those you'll see on the video that I'm going to make probably tonight, those fans right there are not playing. Mm -hmm. Okay, they blow a lot of air. Those aren't your basic oh, yeah. computer fans. So um, once these things get hot in your trunk, especially this summer, they're going to be roaring. They're going to blow and they're going to exhaust out that way. And oh, yeah. yeah, you're going to be good to go. I'll hook these fans up. Is it filming? Yeah. Okay. But ignore the nails. I just use those to hold them in their spot for now. They're not doing nothing. Let's see, watch this. Oh yeah. It's a gaggle of air. <laughs> oh yeah. This thing covered up. So much air comes out of that little exhaust port, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So when it gets real hot in your trunk, that's what it's gonna happen. But they'll be controlled with the SMD TM1 so that the hotter it gets, the faster those will go. They're, they're not just on or off, they'll roll in whenever this thing's all done. To make the lid, we'll uh, make it kinda cool like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to chill right here for a little bit. I know, man, that's what I was doing in the shop. It was cooling me down yeah. a couple days ago, I was liking it. So, yeah. Hey, it's Sunday, man. No work boots required. Tell me that ain't gonna keep that shit cool. Oh, yeah, that's serious. That is pretty serious, ain't it? Yeah, that's real. I bought those a while ago for the Escalade build, and that's I forgot I had them. Yeah, that's, that's moving, some, moving some air. Yep. Hey, especially with a lid on there, man, it just... It blows out of that hole so good. So good. All right, man, I hate to take all your stuff away from you, but your fun is over. You got to get out of here. I got to take it to the next stage. I'm glad I got a game plan now instead of going blind. Hey, for going blind, though, it seemed to work out pretty good. <laughs> I'm glad it sounds good in forward. Ah, better. So we're cutting some half inch acrylic over here right now. I got some little feet that I'm doing with holes in them that way I can run wires through those and up into the rack.
is a mighty fine cut. Bottom feet look good. Just gonna need to make that bottom platform to attach those two. I'll be ready to start assembling it, maybe running some wires. Back to the laser we go. bottom plate right here we got the holes where I want them we got the size that I want
Now I gotta make some spots for the wires to pass through. Back to the laser we go. Now if I had to do this all over again, this would already be pre-done, but I'm freestyling. I don't know what I'm gonna do until I kinda do it. No problem, we can uh, I'll drop this bad boy down. Cut some holes into it. have to cut no holes and then uh yeah it'll all be pre-wired where's your rca at uh it's ran all the way or back two right. we both you have two sets right yeah we both ran on it. sunday morning spent all morning drawing this lid it's not gonna make sense until i actually cut it out you see top and bottom Got a little something right there. We can run the simulator. Let's cut this thing out. Throw it on the CNC and then throw it on the laser and see what we got.
case you haven't guessed, it's a little bit more complicated than your average project. It's two-sided. So that's good news what I just did right here. I hit my bevel. Now we're going to cut out the other stuff. A couple of counter sinks. And bring it over to the laser and etch it. And it should be ready to go on. Time to take this over to the laser. Of course I have all the PCs in this entire shop networked together so I can get to the files that I drew in there, here, there, or any of the laptops. So it's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna pull up that file that I was working on in there. So we're gonna etch this in reverse to make sure it pokes through the other side and you can't feel it or touch it. Should look great, maybe. Let's run it. Here goes nothing. I hope it's good. So we're just gonna ghost in a nice light little line right there. It'll be visible when the paper's off, but not too intrusive. Maybe it's gonna look good. Maybe. Oh man, I hope I don't shank this piece of acrylic. So we gotta have the finishing touch. It is the BJ Big 40 countdown with Mark Goodman. Counting them down for you here at the Big 80s on 8. That is Rodney Crowell. Ashes by now. Number 39 this week's DJ Big 40. Good to have you with us as we count down to number like? one. Okay. We never made it higher than number uh -huh. eight on the charts. This is Angel Say No from Tommy Two Gun. Alexa, mute. They gonna catch me on that copyright again. Wow. Making sense yet? Got a couple of sharp corners that need to be beveled because the rest of this is beveled, but it's all right. Ooh, look at that. Fan controller, temperature sensor.
time, one more thing to do on this video before I end it. It's been a long day. It took me a long time to design this lid and get it just right. My day's about to be over. I'm going to wire this thing up and fire it up and have it ready for him to take on the next video. But for now, this is where we're at. Stay tuned, subscribe, hit that notification button. Wait till you see this thing lit up with these gauges. It's going to be sick as hell. And I'm going to light it with some LEDs on the bottom too. This is just the beginning of something cool. And I'm out of here. Until next time. frosted now should pick up the LED lighting a lot nicer than if it was just clear but it also will hide the trunk carpet that this thing is sitting on too so it'll kill two birds with one stone this SMD fuse holder down here and this UV4 distro block right there I guess it's time to drill some holes put some threads in those as well the only way I can really do it is from the bottom because I got ahead of the game a little bit like I said in the last video if I had to do this all over again everything would be pre-drilled and done before I get to it but I don't know what I'm doing until I do it because this is all freestyle so flip it over put some holes in it and be good to go start running some wires
tapped so I can put these same exact screws in them. with these fastened in there and now I have a place to run the wires to. Time to get busy. Got just the right amount of sky high zero gauge sitting here, a little piece of scrap I had hanging. And we got some sky high ground. Of course you know I got remote for days.
there. We got remote in the middle. Negative, remote, and positive. And we got the two triggers, two triggers at the top. Wiring is just about done. Got these LEDs out. I'm trying to light up this lid a little bit, but there's no real clean way to do it. No matter what I do, that's all you see is those LEDs. So I got an idea. Okay, here we go. We got more stuff up on the computer screen. Nice little trim piece. for a little bit, let it set up, be ready to test fit it.
just set it down for me. Okay, right there, hold on, wait, wait a second. Oh, big arm print right here, huh? Let's test these fans, see if it's any good. Woo. That's the caps filling up. Make me jump every time. Let's turn it on. Oh, I have these things set for like 85, 90 degrees and it's uh, probably a little over 90 in here right now. So, yeah, they're on. We're gonna throw some more heat in there, get those things turning faster. They'll ramp up zero to 100 depending on how high the temperature is. So, they're very slow, they're turning on just now. Let's listen to it real quick. Ready for this? Watch this. Ready? Yep. Just for test reasons, I have this thing hooked up to this tower to make sure that I'm getting sound out of the wires. So no gains are set, nothing means anything. The LEDs aren't even matching the gains yet, so they're gonna be a little bit off. But you can sort of see what's going on here. I'm a star, you can see no flex. I flew off to the clouds like a jet. Till I'm done, I'm stay on their deck. Let a culture better get a chase checks. Stay solid, don't love no hoes. Why you invest if she trying to get dough? Why you hate that move that glow? Kill everything, all that I know. Oh, one home run hits. Your mates heads love that shit. Curry at the three, don't miss. Let the fans be mean, no bliss. You really don't care about trust. Money can get your head bust. Same thing playing around with love. You can really lose your life over lust. I speak on the chest cause I need it. I need Got some fame and I use it to feed them. Champion it comes to Team good, my hustle was decent. Turned up my like games at the end of the season. No matter the distance, I grasp but I'm reaching. These dudes acting like hoes. Acting like hoes. That's all I know. That's why we don't flow. That's why we don't flow. That's all that I know. Chase ring, chase money, that's all I know. That's why we don't flow. That's why we don't flow. That's all that I know. I think it seems to be working 
perfect. I'm super excited about that. That means we can drop it into his truck, hook up a few wires, set the gains, and he's playing. That's always good news. Let's check and see. Now, these things are blowing hard right now. Let's do the smoke test real quick before we end this video. I'm having a hard time heating this chamber up because as soon as the fans kick on, it cools it right back down again. So I turn them off all the way, I'm gonna put some heat in this chamber, and then I'm gonna turn them back on again. These fans are pretty awesome. Feel like it's getting warm in there yet, Kay? Where are we having that? Okay, we're over 100, so this thing should be cooking. Watch this. Here goes the smoke test. It's gonna be stinky in here, but oh well. Look, it's gonna, it's gonna start cooling down. Oh, that appears to be working real good. I don't know about you guys. Look at that. It's gonna stink so bad here in the morning. Well, works good. You can see some smoke build up on the thing up here. I knew that might happen, but it's okay. I gotta take it off and clean it anyways. Said that you need one of them. That's when you turn your hate on him. That's why you and me can't be friends. Yeah. So many shows. First sight that you not solid. I do my movie ghost. I'm from California, but in Mars is where I'm stepping. Be out, standing above the level that they fly. Got that bag and did the firm. Made that move, got that bag and did the firm. Leave this thing's ready to go in the trunk. Now to give Jared a call, tell him to come by this weekend maybe. We'll finalize this, get it done. I be at it all day, like I'm chasing, like I'm trapping. Hey, it got smoky in here, like it's all foggy. That's definitely gonna have to get wiped down. If I'm napping, so we're gonna get in here. So it's a little after four o'clock in the morning. Shut the lights off in the shop, cause no skylights. Perfect dark. Let's see what this thing looks like. Looks like a whole lot of nothing. good everything's looking good just needs a little wipe down she's dusty all that good stuff fans are kicking on when they're supposed to I'm gonna show that in this here YouTube video I'm gonna have to turn the lights back on in the shop clean this pigsty of a mess up then we can give Jared a call and say hey you ready to plop this thing into your trunk and it's gonna be all his time to quit playing around and get the shop picked up you guys don't even want to see what a mess I made doing this
What up, man? What up? What up? You still riding around with them raw door panels? We are. Oh. <laughs> we got the panels in You're the back. You're a trooper. They've been in the back seat the whole time. Good shit, man. We'll see if we can do something about that today. Or we'll at least uh, see if this amp rack fits, make sure that everything's going the way I'm planning it to. Do you want to see what it looks like in person? I do. I know you saw it online. Nothing I can do about that, but come check it out in person. Then we'll back your car in. There it is, right on the other side of that fan over there. <laughs> man it's your baby right there man it's yours <laughs> yeah that's a piece of art yep everything is disconnected though so we might be able to get the red lights on but i wound everything up in anticipation of dropping this in your trunk so it's not really ready to light up or anything but Possibly we could plug the LEDs in real quick just so you can see what it looks like. Yeah. Hold on, let me get my little outlet. So if we put this in your trunk right now, it's gonna be kind of hard to see the lights until it gets dark. Uh -huh. But you should get a good idea if you plug them in right now. So take that little black power pack right there, unwind it. Not that one. Oh, oh yeah, that one, sorry. One? Yeah, yeah, I thought you got the base knob, my bad. Yep, yep, and then plug that into this white one right here. Yep. <laughs> it's a little smoky in there for my smoke test. Well, I'm gonna wipe that down before you actually take it, take it, but. Oh my yep. God. Yep. Oh, and at night, this thing is just blood red. It's so dark red. It's just light in here. These skylights ain't playing. Oh my I mean, God. Yeah, so you got that remote control right there. Uh, you can change it to whatever color you want. You just gotta aim at that little white thing. There you go. There, there, bing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Of course, you know, these things are gonna light up too as soon as your mm -hmm. system comes on and oh shit. <laughs> My god. Oh, it looks amazing. Dude, the way it lights up after it's frosted. Yeah, I can't wait. Let's uh back your car in. Yep. Let's see how it fits and then if it does then we'll just take it from there. I mean no pressure, just Get done what we can today. Yep. All right, yep. cool. Sounds good. Mm, that's probably good. Take a little look at what we got going on in here. Okay, so it's nice to see that that little spacer stopped the box from moving. Yeah, right I now. did not move at all. Not at all. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we power wires over there. Yep, power wires. Ground too. Yep. Everything. Perfect, man. And I got the fuse holder ready to go right there. And then uh, RCAs, where are they at? Uh, ones ran on each side. Ones ran on over there and yep. one over here. Yep. Is it possible to grab them from over there and have them both come to one side? Yeah. Okay, long Definitely enough. Definitely long enough. Okay, and then I'm, I'm gonna need your speaker wires for the front doors as well. Yep. That's so the ones right here, but okay. the other one is right. It stops literally right here. Okay. It's, that's right. Okay, we can extend it, no problem. Actually, we don't even need to extend it. I have long enough wires coming off that rack, okay. but we might have to attach it from inside the cabin if we can get to it because the box is in the way, I think. Mm -hmm. So, good shit, man. You got it done. You got it done. All right, let's bring that thing over here and see if it even fits. Do you wheel that bad boy on over here? I'll just do the filming. Like I said, the only thing I'm really worried about is whether or not this trim piece is going to cause any issues with fitment. Well, here, take this here roll of uh, electrical tape. It's time to uh, take the old sound stream out, take man. Positive, negative off. Wrap that positive up and just uh, send it over here to the right hand side. There you go. All right, man, take that thing out of there. Yeah, send them straight to the back. What a difference, huh? 
All right, out with the old, in with the new. Let's hook up a few wires and see if we can get this thing to light up. Oh, and these little brackets are in the way. All they're really doing is holding this carpet on, so let's cut them off. something to clean this up, make it look nice. We'll put some second skin over that too. A little second skin yeah, for the wind. Yep. We'll sound dead and all this stuff. Matter of fact, let's go get a couple of pieces right now because once this is in, we're not going to be able to do it. So, we got some sitting over here. Oh yeah. Always with second skin. Never going to be without at least a few pieces. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so we'll get some scissors, make a couple cuts. That's pretty nice. Same Alright, so I'll do this side, you do that side. Basically just want to cut yourself a little piece. We'll just kind of go back in behind that. And Cut it. have one the other side there. So when you're putting this on, man, you're gonna want to stay in the groove inside of here as much as possible, and then roll it outwards. That way, you're not bridging any gaps, and we want to cover up some of that stuff that we did too so see I'm kind of tucking it in the middle first mm -hmm. and working my way towards that little transition mm -hmm. tuck it into the transition and bend the corner I mean, we can go on and on and on with this trunk, but we need to get this thing playing. Yeah. So, you want to do that side or what? Yep. There you go. Some people will make this into an art form. Yeah. As long as it's on there and it's got good coverage, that's all that really matters. And you don't have a bunch of air gaps. Ooh. Looks good though, man. You're a fast learner. I like it. We're gonna slap some more second skin in the trunk, just along the back, the parts that we can't get to later once this is already in. It's gonna be a lot of tedious work. We got some ring terminals we gotta put on the zero gauge wire. We gotta run the remote. We gotta tie in the wires for the mids and highs. It's a lot of small little things that take a lot of time to film when we really need to just be getting this thing done. So, you know what I do? Go straight to time lapse. Here we go.
I got everything hooked up. The wires are hanging a little bit. We're going to tuck them in a second, but let's make sure that we got lights before we go any further. Want to go in there and uh, turn your ignition on? Come on, turn on, please. Please turn on. Play a little bit of music, too, if it does happen to work. See if those needles are moving. Oh, uh, they're not on yet. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hot out here, too. Those fans got to be turning already. I got them set to 90 degrees, and it's... Yeah, they're moving. Awesome. Play some music. Let's see if these needles actually move. Make sure it's all working. Hey, you want to plug your LEDs in real quick? Man, I can't wait to see this in the dark. So, man. All right, man. It sounds like I hear bass. I hear highs playing. So we know it's working. Are you happy or what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, according to the internet, though, we're gonna have to put one of them sparklers up your ass hey, right, and have right. you do cartwheels. Jumping down the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay away from the field, man. We already had a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but this shit is dope, man. I can't wait to see it at night. Like, you no need to even turn it on. Just look well, at it. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Go put on my closet wall. Okay, we got some second skin in. We got the amp rack in. We got the wires kind of tucked away for the night. We're going to try to finish this up tomorrow. Everything is where it's supposed to be, when it's supposed to be. Everything, man. We're so close. So, we got your by 9 hooked back up for the night. Your one single by 9 You're good to go. So you have some tunes on the way home. Let's plug the LEDs back in for one more quick little look at it. Oh, so sick. I love it. Uh, let's make the needles move and then I'm going to end this video for the night. The VUDs aren't even set up yet. We just want to see them moving. I see that blue. Oh. Hey, go ahead and shut the trunk. We're out of here for the night, man. Go show it off. Show everybody what it looks like. We'll continue on from here. Yeah, it's gonna be so sick. Oh my god. <laughs> I can hear your by nine in the back. I can tell that it's in the back from over here. <laughs> We're gonna make it better, man. We're gonna make it better. All right, man. So since this video is not done yet, we're not going to do the official yeah. pull away like I do in my other videos. We're just going to end it and we're going to say, see you on the next one. All right, see we, you later. We, we out of here. So he's all done for the day. He's going to go home, show it off to all his friends or whoever else wants to see it. Tomorrow morning, as soon as I get here, I'm going to make some rings. So the six and a half will sit on the door panel really nice and start cutting the holes for the tweeter. Once that's done, I got a little spot I already found for the crossovers. They're going to get hooked up. I'm gonna have it all mostly pre-wired. When he gets here, we're gonna put it in. We're gonna set the gains, and all of a sudden his eyes and his ears are gonna open up. So stay tuned for the final video after this video when we finish. For now, uh, yeah, it's Saturday afternoon, almost three o'clock, I'm out of here. Just about getting ready to sit down, measure this stuff out, and I realized I just did some B2 Audio 6.5 not too long ago for the Jaybirds ride. So, I've already got it ready to go. So I'm just gonna grab me a little bit of HDPE, and we're gonna fire this thing up. These are really nice mids. I've always had good luck with them. They've always sounded great. We can't just willy-nilly throw them into that sheet metal door panel and screw them in with some sheetrock screws and hope they're gonna sound good and then blame them if they don't. You gotta do this shit right. You may not have to have a CNC machine or a laser to do it right. You could do this with a router. You could do it with a jigsaw. Speakers are only gonna sound as good as the person installing them, so watch what I do here. Got a little piece of scrap, machine grade, HDPE. It's not super pretty, but it's great for stuff like this because it will be pretty. And I'm done.
little countersunk mounting holes so this thing can be attached to the vehicle and the screws won't get in the way of the speaker but uh yeah i hope the speaker actually fits let's try it out that one's sitting right over here so as it turns out the speaker didn't really fit in there it was really close it was super tight but without deforming the basket or something it wasn't going to go in there it was just a little bit shy so all i really needed to do was throw a little tiny bevel on this inside right here right where the basket was touching and it fits pretty good so i haven't done it to this one yet because i wanted to show you guys that i had to do that the reason why i'm showing you this is because these are the things that installers have to deal with when they're doing custom stuff always a good idea to show some respect to your local installer who does a good job because these are the things that happen when we get through them That's like perfect. Just enough to get past that little spot that was in the way. Look at that. Is that right side up? Yeah. Beautiful. Now all we gotta do is mount this into the vehicle we got the counter sunk holes like I showed you. We'll put some second skin around it, deaden the door a little bit, mount this speaker into the ring, run the wires. He's playing. He should be here pretty soon. I already called him. These are actually going to be threaded with 832 torx bolts. So it's gonna be ultra nice, no half stepping over here. Probably can't see that little guy right there, but I try to zoom in on it when I'm editing, but the focus only really gets my dirty fingernails. There we go. Yeah. Hey man, I'm working man's fingernails right there. So I'm gonna thread this up real quick. See, we ain't just jamming no sheetrock screws into this thing. You guys come out of here. Other side. Yep, another one right here. Oh yeah. Couple crossovers. Those are gonna go on the door panels. I have real cutting oil, but I actually like this stuff. Plus, I like the smell of it. Of course, good. Reminds me of my old bike chain when I was younger. This way, not only will it cut the threads really nice, but when we go to put the fasteners in later, they're gonna they're gonna be nice and smooth as well. So. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm going right about to where the thread's in. I'm not putting any pressure on it. I'm letting it pull itself down and bring itself back up. So if you want to do the rest of these, just like I did, here's your reverse button right here. Okay? Keep your drill as straight as you can. Like up a little bit more. There, like that. There you go. 
Bring it, bring it straight down. Let it, let it pull itself all the way in. Hit reverse. Pop it back out. Boom. Done. You got threads. Oh yeah. Yep. Nice. Repeat. Good to go. There you go. Perfect. 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 Yeah, you don't ever want to get it to a drilling type of action because then it's going to strip its own threads out and then it won't be no good. So you're creating threads. Keep that drill straight. Okay, you're a little crooked on the drill, man. Bring it back up. The HDP you can influence a little bit, so put it back in there and like straighten it out and send it back in again. We'll up just a little bit. I know you can't see from where I'm standing. Mine was probably crooked too because when you're standing, there you go like that. There you go. There you go, there you go. Yeah. When I'm standing right above it, it's kind of, sometimes it's hard to tell too, especially when you do a bunch. But yeah, I'm standing over here looking. Yeah, you're good. That looks good. Go a little further than that. There you go. I don't know what ain't rocket science, but how many times have you done this before? Never. Never? You've never threaded a hole before? Never. Created threads? Uh-uh. There you go, man. Like I said, this is still a learning experience. Even if I do a lot of the crucial stuff, it's still learning. That's it. Got them all? Yeah. Alright, now take one of those screws right there and just thread it in with your finger and tell me if it works. They're little, so you may even you may need to use the Allen wrench if you can't. They're hard to hold on to oh, and twist it again. Nice. Nice and good. Yep. So there you have it. All right, I think we need to back your car in. Yep. Open up your doors and mount those things into your doors and start wiring. What do you think? Let's get it going. Good shit. Let's go. The rings are done. Three countersunk holes for the actual mount and threaded holes for the speakers. Now we're gonna grab some second skin, put it on the door panel, and kind of sandwich some of that stuff in between. Seems to work really good doing that. And then we're gonna grab those door panels over there, pop a few tweeters in those, run a few wires, we'll be ready to start playing. Time to sandwich some more of this second skin. In between. We don't have to go too hog wild on this just yet. Right now I'm sealing the door, making it a little bit more rigid where the speaker's moving. And if you have any rattling problems, we can add more later. But getting you on the road and getting it sounding great first. That's our main thing. So we're all patched up right here. Make this hole a little bit better once the ring is on. Make sure it's clocked right so it looks good even though it's behind the door panel. <laughs> Someone will say something. The V2 wasn't straight. You know that'll be the first thing said.
see if that's enough to reach down and grab the bottom of that panel. Oh my god, yeah. That was so good. So double check my hand. Ew. So the reason I'm doing it this way. That door panel ever, ever has to come off again. Mm. You can un just unhook these little connectors. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And the wires won't have to be cut. None of that stuff. So. Easy. Jared's ride for right now. There's always stuff that can be done. We're gonna set his gains, I'm gonna tidy his wiring up. We're gonna clean the acrylic. He had a little bit of smoke on it from the smoke test and he should be on his way. It already sounds good when the gains ain't even set so I can't imagine what it's gonna sound like when we put the DD1 and the CC1 on it. But right now, we gotta pull it apart just a little bit to get to the gains and to clean the panel. Okay, this thing's up and out of the way. 
I can take it all the way out of the vehicle. But all I want to do is set the gains and drop it back down. Well, Everything's flat, right, on that deck? Yep. We left it alone from last time? Right, yep. Still on track one? Okay. We are on track one. Okay, turn it up to 38, our number. 38. 38. Yep. yep. You there? Okay, turn that base knob up all the way. All the way. Yes. All right, all right, all right. It's up all the way? Yeah. Okay. Track three. That gain is set. Go ahead and turn your base knob all the way down. All the way down. Look at that. Beautiful. Turn it all the way up. up. All the way pegged. Yep. There you have it. Turn it all the way down. Okay, turn your volume all the way down now. Alright, uh, back to track two. Alright. Okay, Second set of bridge channels. I just left it as it was, and I'm going to drop this down to 4.5 just like the other one is. There we go. Now, I just want to set your crossovers real quick to make sure that they're matching each other. Mm -hmm. The doors will sound a lot better if they're playing the same frequencies. Or, and I shouldn't say the same frequencies, that they're rolling off at mm -hmm. the same time as each other. So, we're going to do that next. Okay, start turning the volume up until I tell you to stop. We got signal, keep going. There you go, down one. Yeah. Down one. Yeah. Down one. Yeah. Down one. Down one, yeah. there you go, right? So I had your crossover a little bit high. I'm just gonna turn it down, okay. right there, calibrated. Mm -hmm. That means it's right where I want it to be. I think I'm at 100 hertz. Uh, make sure you're on track 18 still. On track 18. Right there. All right, head on in there. This time we're gonna play track 16. Track 16 is 80 hertz and down. Well, it's actually 80 hertz, but your crossovers are 80 hertz and down, so that's what we were looking for. See how sensitive those are? Can you imagine not having the tools and thinking that you're gonna get it right? Never. So look at that, calibrated, 80 hertz. They're done. Um, let's take a listen to it and then we'll clean all this stuff up and you're, got, you're on your way, man, you're done. <laughs> so far, it sounds pretty good. Gonna give a quick wipe down and then it's time for the official test. Sounds good from out here though, Jared. Yeah. Yeah. All right, finally, for right now, we're finished. There is obviously lots more stuff to do. You can, it just never ends. But for right this very moment, for this week, we're done. It's playing, it's tuned as good as we can for his deck. His deck doesn't have very much processing power on it at all. I can't hardly do anything with it, so I think he's planning on a new deck, and we'll set his games again after he does that. So clean. I mean, you rode around, the games weren't set. Now the games yeah. and the crossovers are set pretty close. You're as good they as you are. can be for what you have for a head unit, little upgrades. But I want to run some more second skin on your rear deck lid. I know we got to take those old 6x9s out, but that means we got to pull your deck lid apart to get to them. So those 6x9s or whatever those are in there got to come out. And we're going to run a bunch of second skin on the rear deck lid as well. Oh, by the way, the trunk is on that little switch. So as soon as you shut it, those lights should go off automatically. Uh, we're not going to be able to see it because it's going to be... Hold on a second. Wait, wait. All right, go ahead and shut the trunk. Let's see if those lights go off. Oh, perfect. Hey, pop it open again one more time. Just to verify. Oh, uh, yep, just like that, automatically. All right, man, you're dialed in. Shut it again. We're listening to some bass. Let's bump some beats. Like I always say, I can't play these songs for very long because of copyright reasons. So I'm going to play it. We're going to play whatever the hell we want, but only for a couple seconds at a time. We're gonna play it longer than that, but when I go to edit, they're gonna hit the floor. So sorry about that. Anyways, let's bump it. Hey, Slump, ready to go? Should I say yeah. black truck sounding like I got an alligator in the back? I'll 
sure what to play because everything's gonna get me busted on copyright. Just go back to that Steely Dan we were doing earlier. <laughs> headphones I hope that sounds good when I edit that because that kick drum kicks so hard and that door just now it's not like the drummer was in here <laughs> pretty good Enough teasing. Yeah. <laughs> Enough teasing. Enough yep, teasing. yep. Let's Fuck. slam the hood shut yep. and uh, let's send you on your way, man. Yep, thank yep, you. yep, yep. <laughs> All right, man, it's all you, man. You're out of here. The fuck out of here. Go enjoy that shit, man. Slam your trunk shut. You're done, man. Woo! All right, Jared, you're out of here, man. Have fun, man. Congratulations on the new beats. Yeah. <laughs> Slap that shit on the way out of here. Oh. Still need some second skin on the trunk. The trunk is actually not rattling as bad as the little flappers. The little air flappers that are inside of those trunks. I forgot all about that as well. So every time the bass hits, the, the flappers start flapping and makes all kinds of noise. So we're gonna have to make an effort to get in there and block those as well. But the car does sound awesome on the inside. So some more second skin on the rear trunk lid. We gotta remove those binines or whatever those things are. I think there's like sheetrock screws holding them in. Those gotta go. We'll make some more bass come into the cabin that Until way. Until then, thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying this little series with us. And um, I'm out of here. Mission accomplished. Jared's back on a Saturday morning. I called him back because we have a few unfinished things to do inside of his car before we actually let him go. When it comes to sound systems, you know, it's never done. There's no such thing as done. There's always something that you can do. And uh, I noticed in the video that we only add half of your big three done. And we can't let you ride around with a bottleneck with half of a big three. You got your zero gauge wire ran, but pretty much everything else is stock you got your zero gauge ground too but there's a couple of missing links that are pretty important so uh well i invited you on over here to uh help you get this job finished we'll get it done right but i got one more little surprise for you man because you know i can't let you ride stock come check this out man tell me what you think about this you don't even know yeah dude the surprises just keep coming man because uh this is youtube and we got to do it right we got to make sure we get you the right stuff so we got you an excess power battery. All right, all right, all right. So this is actually a D3400R. It's not the actual battery that's made for your car. So I believe your car takes a Group 2400 or something. I should pop the hood and actually take a look. But the 3400 is a bigger battery, has more power. Footprint's just about the same. It's a tiny bit taller and that's it. So we're gonna put it in and make it work. Let's pop your hood. Let's bring your car in, pop the hood. Let's see what we're actually dealing with before we take that apart. Except for I lost my keys. Here we are again. Like I said, never done. There's always something to improve, make better. That's what we're going to do. Hey, so how's everything been working? 
been sounding real perfect. Yeah, you've been riding around for a couple weeks with the heat oh, and everything. Man. It's hot outside, over 100 degrees. It sounds amazing. Still. Yeah, have you showed it to anybody, a oh, couple people? I've been showing it off to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Playing some Steely Dan. Playing everything. <laughs> everything. Hell yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Good shit, man. Okay. Pop the trunk. Let's take a look at it before we get into this. I want to see it again. It's been a minute. All right, you want to pop your hood real quick? Let's take a look at what you got in here. It's not as big as I pictured it before. So, yeah, the one you're getting is beast. Right, it's kind of hot under there, so we're going to bust out the porta cool. We're going to turn the turbos on. Turbo. Yep, yep, got it. Turn it, yeah, all the way to high without clicking it. There you go, keep going, keep going. All the way, all the way without clicking it. There you go, yes. All right, now we're talking. You gotta put the wheels on lock, because this thing will start walking away. There we go, so we'll, oh, there it goes. Yep, yeah, just gotta push those little locks down. All right, so while that thing's cooling down, here you go, man. More unboxing for you. Gotta have the steak knife. Yeah, gotta have the steak knife. Let's check this thing out. So this is not an exact fit for your car, but the one that goes in your car is smaller. So this should still fit good and get you more power. Gotta have the stickers. Yeah. <laughs> Go about that, man. That's the fat boy right there. Yeah, the D3400 is pretty standard go-to, man. Classic go-to. And you got the R. You see how that positive terminal is on your left side? Yeah. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's what the R is. So it's a 3400 in reverse. So this should fit in your car really well. Um, after that thing cools down a little bit, we'll go pop it in. We'll do the rest of your wiring. We'll get started on that right now. Thanks, man. Yep. All right, let's see if we can find a good path for this wire. This plastic cover is kind of in the way here. I got you a bit and everything ready to go. If you want to take that thing off, start seeing what we got to do to make this happen. SMD fuse holder holding up really well. Tons of heat. No problem. Is it uh, two weeks? There you go. <laughs> okay. Yep. I think we're gonna go that hard. Yeah, that thing isn't playing. I love that thing. This thing is no joke. Whoa, Ooh. careful though. Whoa, Ooh. careful though. You gotta hold on to that thing. I was not ready yeah, for it. Yeah, rip it right out of your hands. Milwaukee for the win. This that might not make it off the editing floor Ooh. right there. <laughs> this thing right there. I love those things. I bought four of them as soon as I got my first one for the guys to use. That thing is no joke. I wasn't even thinking it was gonna be like that. You almost got yourself a little wrist injury, buddy. For real. Yeah. Yeah, we should be able to find a nice path now. Keep it away from heat. Mm -hmm. As it turns out, I had some sky high wire ready to go in my little boneyard over there so no need to even grab it fresh off the roll this is brand new condition and it's just about the right length too so that'd be good just to explain a little bit what's going on here for some of you guys that may not know what we're doing what the big three is basically we're upgrading the alternator positive wire from the battery to the alternator post and we are upgrading the engine ground. From the battery to the chassis has already been done, but we haven't ran anything to the engine yet. What happens is people put a humongous zero gauge wire on their battery, they run it back to their system, usually not even the negative, and they think they're gonna get all this extra power because they ran this zero gauge. But what's really happening is you have a bottleneck. You've got a little tiny, probably eight gauge or smaller engine ground 
going from the chassis to the actual engine, your engine is sitting on rubber motor mounts, which is isolating it from the rest of the car. So the grounds that you will be getting through that is all coming through that little eight gauge, as well as any cables or any wires that happen to be connected to the engine and to something in the car, to another ground, which isn't really that good. You don't want to pull 3000 watts through a little tiny ground wire and a big fat zero gauge wire. That's a terrible bottleneck. Same thing for the alternator wire. Your stock alternator wire is probably about six or eight gauge at the most. When your car is running, the alternator is doing all the work. The battery is not hardly doing anything. It's mostly going to be the alternator. You are pulling all this power from your battery and your battery is being replenished by a little tiny eight gauge or whatever it is positive wire. That's not good. You're gonna want that zero gauge running all the way to the post. He probably does need a bigger alternator at the end of the day, but we haven't gotten to that yet. We're gonna see how it acts with this. So enjoy the video and hopefully you learn something. And that's a wrap for the big three. It's done. We got an alternator wire upgrade. We got an engine ground upgrade. It's pretty close to the alternator, as close as I could get it. Nice little opening I found. Got the SMD fuse doing good in here. Got the excess power battery. D3400R fits right in this Ultima. No problem at all. Make sure you get the post adapters. We already had them. Good to go, man. Let's pop the cover on it. Actually, let's start your car up first to make sure it works. Then we'll put the cover back on it. All right. And come on, if you start it, come on out and uh, throw this voltmeter on. I'll show you how to use it. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I think it started, sounded like it was starting with the heat. Yeah, it started way better, honestly. Hell yeah. Honestly. All right, come in here real quick and let's uh, put those probes on the battery. Let's see what kind of voltage you got. I mean, this is... I just want to make sure that you're charging. It's not going to be charging any higher because you have a better battery. Yeah. But I just want to make sure that you're actually charging. So, just put it there, right there. All right, just pop it on there. Red on red, black on black. Oh. There you go. You're fine. Damn. Oh yeah. Super solid charge. Super solid. You might notice a difference when you turn your beat on. We'll find out, man. But um, you, can hear it you know, start. the next upgrade is going to be an alternator if you actually need one. But we'll see. You can never have enough power. Yeah, you can never. You can never have too much power, I should say, but we don't know if we need that yet. So, uh, you know, pop your cover back on, man. Let's slam the hood shut and call this a wrap for the day. Let's go down for that. Yep. Like, actually started up way faster. Did it? The other battery is probably on its way out of here, like yeah. cuckoo clock. All right, man, you're done. The big three is finished. Big three, baby. All right, so do you want to do some more second skin on that rear deck lid or what? No, All right, you know, I'm going to have to send you home with a little bit of homework then. Um, maybe next Saturday, come on by. I'll let you take your rear deck lid off first and come on by because I don't really feel like messing with it. And we will take those 6 by 9s out with those sheetrock screws holding it together. <laughs> and then we're going to let more bass into your cabin when your seats are up, you know, on golf club days. And also get rid of some rattles. You got those things in the back, those little air vents that let air out of the car when you slam the door shut. They're pressure relief vents. So those are what's actually making that weird flapping sound. You got a little bit of rattle, but mostly those stupid flappers. So we're going to take care of that on the next little upgrade. And that'll probably be it for a minute. But, you know, it's never over. It's never over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. We'll see you on the next one for sure. Yeah, good shit, man. We're good to go, man. Big three done. Friends don't let friends ride without the big three. Yeah, without the big three. <laughs> you know, we need the big three. Nope, something. Nope, something.
you might notice a difference but you know the battery's gonna the battery's gonna help but the wires help just as much as that battery So as I was over here cleaning up all my shelves all week last week, transforming this shop into a whole new place, I found Jared's Sundown audio boxes and I found the back plates for his amp. But as I was cleaning, I figured I might not want to throw these away. So I called him up, said, Jared, you want these things? So he's over here right now. It's been probably almost a year. I'm not exactly sure. It's getting close. Let's go see how his 2014 Ultima has been holding up since we did the install. Yeah, Jared's back. What's up, man? What's, What's up? happening? What's up? What's up? All right, all right. No. So uh, we got these boxes over here for you. I mean, they're just empty boxes, but me, I'm a box hoarder. Me too. And if I still have the equipment, I still want to have the. It's windy out here. You're about to lose your instruction manuals. Sorry about that. <laughs> all right, we got your back plates. They're a little dusty. You got to dust them off. Yeah, yeah. But your metal back plates and your boxes for your amps. And um, while you're here, I want to check it out one more time, real quick. Yeah. So. This is a this is a fun build. Just out of curiosity, it's been almost a year. I don't know how many months it's been. 10, 11 months, something like that. I don't know. But um, how's it been treating you? Oh, slapping. Well, sounding great. Is that right? Sounding. <laughs> open up the um, open up the trunk. Let's take a look at it. Look at that. So in case you're just joining me. Those boxes right there, those back plates, used to be on the back of these amplifiers. And uh, they're not there anymore. So I want to make sure in the future, if these ever get pulled out, they have their back plates. Six. So she's been good for a year straight, no problems. You've been bumping it. You, do you bump it a lot or just once in a while or? Every day. Every, every single day. day. Every day. Every I mean, I know you made it through uh, summer last summer <laughs> yep. and it's hot in Sacramento. So how? Those fans kick on or what? They you do what they're them? supposed to do? Yep, you hear them, you hear them. Yep. You'll hear the car, I'll shut off the car. They'll still run for a little bit just to keep it going. SMD TM1. Your voltage is looking strong still. Like, turn this shit on for a minute, man. Let me see these needles moving. Of course, we got the B2 audio highs. Still slapping. Still sounding good. It sounds like the jackpot. Oh. Here, slap that shit, man. A year later, playing like the first day, like most of the systems do. That's why you gotta set your games right. That's why you gotta have the right fuses. That's why you gotta have the right power. The system lasts a lot longer. Do right the first time, or at least try. Do those mids and highs, man. That sounds so good. Everything sounds good. Sounds so good. So clear and just you can play any song in here and it's just. I mean, I know you've been playing it from mom, pa. Oh, I, I was just about to say, my grandpa asked me to turn on a song and it sounds good. What'd you play? <laughs> Anything he asked me, all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, some Willie Nelson, Willie, oh, some uh, Elvis. All, all, everything. all that stuff sounds good. Yep. Yep. I mean, of course, you know, got to have your slaps, but when you're playing other stuff. Grandma's Alan Jackson, you know. Grandma's Alan Jackson. <laughs> hey, that's what it's all about, man. If you can get grandma, grandpa, everybody liking it, then you know you did something right because you got your 40 water you got your alan jackson you got uh whatever else you want to play if it all plays right then uh that's the goal to say no one no wonder and just how clean it looks on the door too with the tweeter and just... your audio she's looking good man all right man well we're gonna wrap up this 
extremely long series all I wanted to do was get a little update from you because it has been about a year and we went through a Sacramento summer with all that torture <laughs> with all the heat in the trunk hey, and um, just want to make sure everything's good and it sounds like it is man Great. at all It's looking good. And off he goes. <laughs> That's not his car banging. His car is banging, but they're doing construction over there, so. <laughs> that building might need some second skin, too. 